And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to race number 18 of the NR2003 Diva Cup Series. As we're happy to have the Diva Cup Series girls back on the track after taking after taking a two-week break because of trucks and bush racing at Milwaukee and Memphis the last couple of weeks, as we're getting set for the Banquet 400 here at the Kansas Speedway. Annie Crenshaw on the pole position. She comes this race sixth in points. She is alongside Ginger Fountley, who is tenth in the point standings. Prudence Martindale comes this race second in points. And Maria Steiner comes this race twelfth in points. So a couple of drivers inside the top 15 starting in the opening two rows. As we're going to show you the rest of the starting lineup. Tatiana Guerra starting last, but of course she has been a busy girl so far this weekend. The engines have fired. Let's get these cars rolling off behind the pace car, and let's go over the points presented by Golden Crow. Becky Walter is the points leader by 149 points over Prudence Martindale. Courtney Lynn, third in the standings. More on her and Brenda Evelyn in a little bit. They're 208 and 334 points back of the points lead. Amber Whitecastle is fifth. Anna Crenshaw, pole sitter, is sixth. Monica Towns is seventh. She is tied with Annie Crunshaw. Gwen Tennyson fell three spots after Ricky, down to eighth in the standings. Matilda Cobb is ninth in the standings. And Ginger Fountley completes the top ten, almost 400 points back of the points lead. A lot has happened since we last did a Diva Cup Series race three weeks ago at Ricky Raceway. And mentioning Courtney Lynn and Brenda Eveling, those two are the uh, top story news coming into this week. It was announced uh, that coming into this weekend, they will not be back with Nathan Orman next season. They are going to be joining Indiana Motorsports, uh, which is Brooklyn and Maddie Crenshaw next season. Brooklyn Carter and Maddie Crenshaw, to be more specific. Green flag is in the air. We're racing here at Kansas. A good start for the Miller Lite Dodge out of Penske Racing. Both Penske cars have now won a Bud Pole this season. Prudence Martindale in second place, trying to erase almost 150 points that Becky Walters has on the points lead. As the first lap is led by Annie Crenshaw, who's still looking for her first win of the season. Annie Crenshaw has been consistent than her teammate Lauren Ekstrom in the 12. Despite Lauren Ekstrom going to victory lane, Ekstrom is like, uh, let's see, Lauren Ekstrom is like 35th in the standings. Despite going to victory lane. Prudence Martindale looking the inside of the two. Let's see where Becky Walters is. That's the gal who's trying to run. That's the gal who Martindale's trying to run down for the points lead. She's all the way back in 25th place. Came into this race as your points leader. As the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet of Prudence Martindale uh, takes the lead. She has one top five, ten top tens. And she's second in points. Check the back of the field here. Jillian Black's back here. There's just be booby. There's Monica Towns, not the run she was hoping for. There's Walters, the points leader. Brenda Evelyn, as I mentioned, her and Courtney Lynn. Those two will not be back with Nathan Orman Motorsports next season. They are leaving that team at the end of the Diva Series in Season 1. There's Brooklyn Carter. Maddie Crenshaw going by her soon-to-be new teammate, Courtney Lynn, in the four. Courtney Lynn and Brenda Eveling will finish their seasons with Nathan Orman Motorsports before they move over to Indiana Motorsports next season. As you look at Tatiana Guerra running in 21st, she's already mathematically out of the running for the championship, along with uh, Colbert. Colbert and Adamson. But Tatiana Guerra will be racing here in the Diva Cup Series next season. So we're very excited to see what happens. 
final 10 races for Lindsay Sutton in that 66. She's leaving that ride at the end of the season as Prudence Martindale has led five points, whereas the gal she's trying to run down for the points lead has not led. And I think none of the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated cars, as I'm going to double check, Matilda Cobb actually been to victory lane. What about June Bailey in the one? June Bailey has not been to victory lane. Of course, she's leaving that right at the end of the year. June Bailey is. And Prudence Martindale has not been to victory lane as we're at the halfway point of this race. How about the rookie Anastasia Adamson in her third Diva start? She's just she's going to be running full time in the Diva Bush Series next season, or she's going to be a busy lady with her senior year of high school going to be, or actually her senior year of high school has started up. Ginger Fatley came in this race 10th in the point stable. Former winner this season. She's looking for her second win of the year in that cat car. That cat 22. Scarlett Wallace uh, in the 23. Having a season she liked to forget. 38th in points. Scarlett Wallace announced this weekend she will not be back with Bill Davis racing in the Diva Cup Series next season. So there will be a new driver in that ride next season. We don't know who. But we will have to wait and see. Anastasia Adamson, we believe, is going to be driving, I believe, the 20 for Joe Gibbs Racing in the Diva Bush Series next season, replacing Shayla Askarov, who is going back to a race in GTS Ray is the reason for the move. As the Napa Chevrolet trying to hold out the cat car, one out of Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, the other out of Bill Davis Racing. There's Chloe Carmichael in the third position. Carmichael came into this race 25th in the points, former winner this season. She will be back with MB2 Motorsports in the Diva Cup Series next season. We will be running this mod uh, for another season in the Diva um, Cup Series next season. As we're down to two laps to go. As Martindale goes by. Jesse Art having a very good run in that 49 machine. Jesse Art finally graduated from high school. Came as race 27th in the points. This is a well-needed run from her as Martindale just got around Ginger Fatley as we're coming to the white flag. This will be Dale Earnhardt Incorporated's second win of the season. And first with Prudence Martindale behind the wheel of the 15. Martindale will come off turn number four. The gal that was second in points is going to win the Banquet 400 here today at Kansas. So close for Ginger Foutley getting her second win of the year, but a solid second place will, wouldn't hurt, as the standings are now official. Maria Steiner came in this race top 10 in the points table. This is er, outside the top 10, 12 to be exact. She'll be definitely inside the top 10. Well-needed run for Jesse Art getting a fourth place, 27th in the points, her second top five. Alicia Marquez completes the top five. Alicia Marquez came into this race, if I can find her in the standing. She was 17th in points, so big 
run for her. Chloe Carmichael comes away with six. That was 25th in the points table. Gwen Tennyson comes away with seventh. Gwen Tennyson is also another driver leaving Nathan Orman's team at the end of the year. So nice top uh, 10 run for her. Scarlett Wallace gets eighth. Anastasia Addison gets ninth. And Mia Watts will complete the top 10. Watts, who's been having a difficult season so far in the Diva Cup Series. 29th in the points. This is a definitely a well-needed run from her. Look on down through the remainder of the finishing results. I see a lot of big names here at the bottom. And it looks like one car did not take the start. And I'm going to investigate who would that be. That would be the 10 of Mary Morris who did not take the start. It looks like mechanical failure is what's going to take her out of the race before it even began. Tough break for Mary Morris. She came as race 18th in the points. She's definitely going to take a hit in the standings. Also notable is Matilda Cobb, 9th in the points, had troubles. Becky Walters will finish 30th. Came as race as your points leader. Courtney Lane got 19. Came as race third in the points table. So she's going to lose points to Martindale. But Martindale is going to gain a lot of points on Becky Walters after today's race. So we're going to have to see what this is going to do to the points heading into next week at Papyrus. If you guys enjoyed today's race, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the VTS Story Crew today. We shared your full finish results. Your point standings will be down in the description heading into next week. At Papyrus, as you've been watching another broadcast of PCS3 TV, the best in a racing around the world since 2017. So long from Kansas.